Hey guys, it's a new weekly challenge and this time it's all about the practice of self-responsibility in order to build self-esteem. Self-responsibility means stepping up, taking responsibility for your life, for your actions, not being a victim anymore. So in this video we will go through what it actually means but also outline what the actions, the objectives of this week will be in order to grow self-esteem. We do this because, well, frankly, I've realized how much self-esteem means to us. It's the number one thing we can do to just become better, happier, more joyful persons. So stay tuned if you want to hear all about it. Yeah, that's my gaming brother and he is gonna keep me company throughout this video where we will talk about self-esteem in the context of self-responsibility because this is the third pillar out of the six that Nathaniel Brandon outlines in his book the six pillars of self-esteem and that is what we are all about right now we are going through these pillars with the input of every every other week having a rejection therapy challenge where the the real action really gets done when we push ourselves to do what we want to do and get rejected because that builds self-esteem like nothing else now just because you haven't been with us for the past two pillars the practice of living consciously and the practice of self-acceptance doesn't mean you can't join us this week. They are tremendously important steps and it truly is something you need to go through but they will happen autonomously if we if we reach this state of self-responsibility. You have to be conscious to pick up on the things that you are going to take responsibility for and you also need to accept the fact that you need to take responsibility for it. You see that's the order they come in. First you become conscious, you realize there is something there, then you accept that, hey, I'm feeling this, this is reality, then you take responsibility for whatever is going on. The thing is, when we focus in on these pillars one at a time, we really get to know them, we really get to know the, the impact of each pillar. And it is work we need to do, we need to do it on that deep level so we get understanding so we can get to the deep reflecting working and set it in context to how we are living reflecting on our actions and what happens in the world we are walking around in so you can absolutely do this today right now this week but then you need to go back at least if you want to build like an unshakable self-esteem you need to focus in on those areas as well because those are tremendously important but today right now we are all about self-responsibility but so what does it really mean to be self-responsible it's simple it means stepping up owning your emotions your situation how you react to all the things that face you in life whether it's in relationships work things you want to accomplish goals all the things in your life that you can in some way affect you need to take responsibility for you have to stop being a victim you have to stop being a person that just blames it all on the external factors that do affect all that you do in life but you have the ability to proactively be prepared for how those things are gonna affect you. You have the possibility to outline the life you want to live, to set up a system, to work towards where you want to be, where you want to go. Now it's important to know where we actually have the capacity to take responsibility for something or if it's actually totally out of our control if there's an earthquake if the world just burns down truly external factors that we can't do anything about we have to choose not to feel bad about those things that will be equally devastating for our self-esteem if we don't react appropriately depending on the context 
Brandon says there are two types. The persons that wait for someone else to deliver a solution to them or the ones that actively work to get that solution. Outlining the different possible actions we have to choose between. I mean, if you are unemployed, you can be reactive and just sit there on the sofa, enjoy some TV movies, maybe send in an application here and there, or you can take full responsibility. You can give it your all to find your future that you want to have. Seek jobs, educate yourself in an area. That is responsibility. Taking appropriate action in context to where you are, push you in the right direction where you want to truly go. That builds self-esteem. That means you're following your heart. Being solution-oriented. Not blaming. Act. Make you that joyful, happy, driven person that will really make your life so much more fun, so much more fulfilled, so much more meaningful. It's time to take responsibility for your life. It's not complicated to understand self-responsibility. It's, it's as simple as that. But what I can do for you is to give a practical example for how it has affected my life. When I was dating a girl maybe six or seven years ago, I found myself in a situation where I didn't, I didn't love her the way I wanted to anymore. And so instead of owning the situation, taking control, ending it, I started acting in a bad way. I was kind of mean didn't pay attention subconsciously because I don't feel that I did that in a conscious level to become a person that she didn't want that she would react so she would actually end the whole business and that's just a cruel way of not owning up to the situation just dragging out something that is an in in but it's a mean awful way of doing it so taking responsibility in a relationship situation means owning up to what is really happening, taking the appropriate action, talking about it, solution-oriented outcomes. That's how we need to approach this. Self-responsibility, it's so much more than just small actions here and there. It's about how we live our life and it's about how we come to the, the ideal outcome in a much more rapid way way we work towards where we want to be so much more effective can you imagine if all the actions you take were in alignment with how your ideal self would act that would mean progressing so much faster all these delays we do because we're not owning the situation because we're not taking responsibility it not only delays us but it hinders us from actually reaching that at all Owning yourself, taking responsibility, it will change your life forever. So this means, as always, that we have some objectives, actions that we need to take this week. As always, when it comes to these pillars, we have some sentence completion exercises we are going to do, which are outlined in the book. But I will put them down there in the description. Basically, it is about in the morning writing, I think it's five or six stem sentences that you will finish off. Being self-responsible to me means. And then you finish that sentence off and you do five, six to ten different endings. Morning and evening, Monday to Friday. And then in the end of the week, Friday that is, you also write a finishing sentence that go something like if all what I wrote this week was true that would mean to me secondly we are also gonna choose one area that we need to step up and take responsibility for the actions as a result of taking responsibility of this area of my life maybe it's you taking control of your well-being your physical appearance 
starting some workout routine. You know what perhaps needs the most attention for you right now. And I say that is what you should focus in on. Always start with the most important thing first. And of course, I almost forgot, you need to journal. You need to observe yourself, reflect, and you do that best by journaling. Throughout the day, write down notes. What happened? How do I feel? In what context? How can I perhaps change this in the future? Do these reflections. Keep a journal. And in the end of the week, on the weekly evaluation, read through what you have been writing. Then you get a more objective look of, of the week that has been. And it's, it's, I'd say journaling is really what makes my progress way, way, way more rapidly than it otherwise would have been. So do that. So that is it. That is what we're gonna do. It's gonna be a little bit calmer this week. Last week I did rejection therapy and that meant vlogging every day. That really takes a toll on you late nights. So perhaps I'm gonna do some uh, reflection on this theme throughout the week. We'll see. This is more an internal journey that you need to do. If you want more, of course, subscribe to my channel. I'm not ashamed anymore. I'm gonna urge you to hit the subscribe button. If, if, if you like this, if this is a reminder for me, for you to be notified when I post more videos because if you're into this, you're into this, I guess. And that's all I'm gonna give you today. My name is Alexander Nilsson. Thank you for watching. See you in the week. Bye, guys. We need to take responsibility for our life and happiness. I am not suggesting that a person never suffers through accident or through the fault of others, or that a person is responsible for everything that may happen to him or her.